I'm Professor Tawana Kupe, your Vice Chancellor and Principal, recording from the High Performance Center, a facility no other university has, the facility which also houses our Center for Exercise, Lifestyle and Medicine. And this is a good facility. It's good for us, powerful for us, means we must all exercise and be good sportsmen. Now we are already approaching the end of the year. Can you believe it? It's now November and next month is the last month of the year, December, and we'll all take a long break. But first, on the 6th of November is Sadek Malaria Day. We happen to be one of the universities with the Malaria Institute. The Malaria Institute called the Institute for Sustainable Malaria Control has made many breakthroughs, including finding chemical compounds that could easily be used to eradicate malaria. Malaria is something that we must defeat. Kills too many people in the Sadek region and also across the continent. So power to the research of our Sustainable Malaria Control Institute in eradicating malaria, which is our goal. Then on the 14th is World Diabetes Day. Diabetes also kills a lot of people. And many people often do not realize they have diabetes. So the solution to this is for people to ensure they are tested regularly. Get regular annual checks for everything, including particularly in this case, her diabetes. The earlier it is diagnosed, the earlier you can go on to treatment and it can be controlled. It need not kill you, but it is a killer. In our country, South Africa, and around the world in general, gender-based violence is a big pandemic, if you like. And it also in South Africa, it's not just gender-based violence, it also includes femicide, the killing of women, including young children. So from the 25th of November to the 10th of December, we have 16 days of activism against gender-based violence and our aid, femicide. Again, this is a social scourge which we must demilitate against equality, the safety of women, and, and the safety of the girl child, and also just generally reduce social justice in our society. We must all become activists against gender-based violence and femicide and free women from insecurity, from violence against their bodies and person so that we can create a better society. So let me now say I'll see you next month, last month of the year.